Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make these awesome DIY phone cases. They're really inexpensive and fun because you can make them as personal as you want or as cute or colorful or whatever you want. And all you're going to need is a clear case that I got off Amazon and some um, printing paper that you find stuff on Google. And this is optional, but I have just a little, um, I think it's called an X-Acto knife and it just like pops out. You have to be really careful with it, but it's easy to cut out stuff like right here where the camera is and then just some scissors. So if you guys want to learn how to do this, just keep watching. Now after you go on Google and you find an image that you want to use, you can paste it on the Word document and then you're going to want to cut it or crop it so it is the size of your iPod or phone. So my iPod is 2.3 inches by about 4.9 or 5 inches, so I'm going to crop it to that and then I'll show you what it looks like. You can actually see the exact dimension of it. It says 4.98 times um, 2.45 so it's just a little bit bigger. Um, so then you can make as many copies of whatever pictures as you want and then just print them out. Now these are what they look like after they've printed out. They're the same size as my phone case which is um, a clear uh, plastic case that I found on Amazon. I got this for like a dollar fifty including the shipping. So you can get these very very cheap and all you have to do is just cut them out and if you notice that there is a little circle hole or oval hole there you just have to cut that around there and just trace it out. Now after cutting everything out perfectly and like all clean, this is what the final product looks like. You can see it's just the paper on one side and then plastic covers it so it can't get dirty. And then um, I cut out that part. I didn't bother to cut out the part where the wrist strap on my iPod goes because I never used that. So I didn't think that was necessary. But now I'm just going to use this um, paper as a template to cut out the rest of them. Which I have a dream catcher and some chevron patterns for now. And this one's kind of a galaxy, so I thought that was kind of cool. But if you guys want to stay tuned and watch the rest, here you go. So these are my final products that I came up with. These are my two favorite ones that I like. And then these two are the chevron patterns that I'm going to use. I'll swap them out sometime. But I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thumbs up if you'd like to see more DIYs. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.